Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com, and today we are going to make the Dubonnet Poncho. Hopefully your pattern will print out better than mine did, but this pattern is free. It's uh, courtesy of Red Heart Yarns, and you can download it at the redheart.com um, website. There's also a link provided uh, for this project. You're going to need quite a few things. You're going to need at least two or three scans of Red Hearts Unforgettable. Um, choose any color you want. I am going to be using Parrot for this one. The original design that you saw at the beginning of the video uses the winery um, color. Okay, now if you're going to make the child size, you're only going to need two. If you're going to make the adult size, you will need three. For video purposes, I am actually going to demonstrate using the child's um, version of the pattern. And for this, you will need a size H or 8 or 5.00 millimeter crochet hook if you're making the child size. However, if you want to make the adult size, you need to use the size J or 10 or 6.00 millimeter crochet hook. I also recommend a measuring tape so that you can check your gauge. Since this is a worn garment, you want to make sure that you are in the ballpark with that gauge. Okay, you're also going to need four buttons. Any t any style really will do. I wanted to pick something kind of springy to to match the spring colors that I chose, but you may pick. Make, sh make sure you have four matching buttons. And you're also going to need a yarn needle for hiding those loose strands. Now, depending on your sewing preferences, well, actually, for sewing on the buttons, you're also going to need a regular needle and some matching thread. Okay, some matching thread or contrasting thread um, to go with your choice of the buttons and the yarn. Um, also recommend a pair of scissors handy. Um, and I believe that is about it. So if you want to gather those materials together, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to go ahead and begin. Um, we're going to be using the size H or 8. This is also or 5.00 millimeter crochet hook. This is also the gauge hook. If you want to check your gauge, you should be getting um, 16 stitches equals 4 inches. And that can be in single crochet or double crochet, I believe. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a slip knot. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain 41. And I like to chain by counting by fives because it's just easier to, to do that. So that's five. That's ten. I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way to 41. Okay, now we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And in the next five stitches. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And notice I am crocheting in one of the side loops and not in the back bump. It's whatever you prefer to do. Um, for that, I just prefer to do it on the side. Okay, after we do those first six stitches, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work an increase. And we do that by working two single crochets in the next chain. One. Two. Okay, now we come to the asterisk and it says single crochet in the next six chains and then two single crochets in the next and we're going to repeat that across. So single crochet in the next six chains, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two in the next stitch. One, two, that's another increase. And we're going to do that all the way across. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then do two in the next stitch. I'm going to do this across and I'll show you the end of the row. Okay, that brings us to the last five chains and just single crochet in each of those last five chains. Okay, and that ends 
let's go ahead and get that all the way through. That ends row number one. Okay, after that, we're going to chain one. We're going to turn, chain one. And working in the front loops only, we're going to slip stitch in each single crochet across. Okay, so working in only the front loop, we're just going to work a slip stitch. For those of you who have worked some of my other patterns, this is called the low front ridge that we're about to work here. So just in that, that one loop only, slip stitch. Okay, so go ahead and do that all the way across the row. At the end of that, we're going to turn, we're going to chain one, and now this, this row, we're going to be working in the free loops, which you see right there, the free loops that are remaining. Okay, we're going to work a single crochet in the next um, seven stitches. So we go one, two, see how I'm working in that free loop there? three, four, five, six, seven. After I've worked those seven single crochet, we're going to do another increase. We're going to work two single crochets in the next stitch like that. Okay. And that's going to be a repeat. We're going to do that a total of five times. We've already done it once. So we're going to seven single crochets, working one in each stitch. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two in the next stitch. So go ahead and work that three more times so you'll have a total of five repeats of that all the way across and you should be getting a nice curved effect. That brings us again to the last five stitches and then just go ahead and single crochet in each of those last five loops. After we complete this row you should have a total of 50 single crochet. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn, and this is what you should have. Okay, now we're getting ready to work the cable stitch. This is a bit of a challenging stitch, but once you take it step by step, I think it's it's very doable. Um, this is an intermediate pattern and inter in using intermediate stitches. So if you've never seen these before, you may want to try some of the other patterns that I have available where you just work are working them straight because I'm going to be working these stitches and adding stitches as we go in order to get the curve. Okay, so now we begin the cable stitch. This is a little bit of a challenging stitch. If you've never worked it before, you may want to try a small swatch um, you know, before you try this, or you could just jump in, but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to single crochet in that first stitch. Make sure you don't pull the yarn too tight on these chains here. We're going to chain three and then we're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and then single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so you have this hole here. Now we're going to turn and we're going to work in this chain that we just created. We're going to single crochet, one single crochet in each of the three chains. That's one, two, three. And then we're going to work a single crochet right like that. A slip stitch in that single crochet. And after we do that, we're going to work in the two stitches that we skipped. Okay, we're going to work one single crochet in each of the stitches, just like that. Okay, now we're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and then we're going to single crochet in the next. And we're going to repeat that all the way across. We're going to turn to work in the chain and single crochet in each of the those chains that we just created, each, which should be three. So three single crochets, 
then we work a slip stitch in that other single crochet, turn again, and then now we go back to those two stitches that we, we skipped and work a single crochet in each of those. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to do that for you one more time, chain three, this is what we're doing, all the way across on the cable stitch. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches that have not been worked, one, two, I'll point them out here, one, two, and then single crochet in the next, turn, working in those chains you just made, one single crochet in each chain, and then a slip stitch in the next stitch, and then we're going to turn, and then single crochet in each of those single crochets that we skipped. Okay, so go ahead and work that all the way across. Okay, I've worked this all the way across and you should have a total of 16 of these cables created. Okay, the last stitch worked in the last stitch. Just work a single crochet there. Okay, I've turned and to begin row five, we're gonna chain one. We're gonna single crochet in the first stitch. Okay, now as we work behind each cable, we're gonna work two single crochets in that next single crochet and then one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, two single crochets in the next stitch and then if you need to pull back this cable a little bit that's okay and one single crochet in that next stitch. So behind each cable you're essentially going to have three stitches. Okay, so go ahead and do that all the way across we're working two single crochets and then one single crochet. So we've worked this all the way across and go ahead and work that last stitch in the turning chain just like that. Okay, now we're going to turn. We're going to chain one and the next row is a low front ridge row. So we're going to repeat row two for row six and we do that by working a slip stitch. Remember working only in the front loop, a slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Um, at the end of the last row we just completed you should have 50 single crochets and you'll have the same number of stitches at the end of this row as well. So go ahead and work slip stitch working in the front loop only all the way across. Okay after working that slip stitch in the top loop, front loop only. Let's go ahead and turn. We're going to chain one and it's going to be a little tricky to see here but we're working now in the remaining loop of that single crochet row. Okay so we're going to work in the first nine stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches. Now in the next loop we're going to work two single crochets for an increase. We want to continue to um, to get that curve. See what we're doing? The curve. We're just continuing to grow that a bit more. So that is going to be our repeat. We're going to single crochet in nine stitches as we're working in that remaining loop and then work two following that. So I'll go ahead and do that next one again. So this is where we work two. So we work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we do the increase by working two single crochets in that same loop. So go ahead and do that across and then when you get to the last ten stitches you're just going to work one in each of the last ten. Okay, I've worked these all the way across and the last ten stitches I just simply worked one single crochet in each stitch. You should now have a total of 54 stitches. 
Okay, now we're going to begin the arrow pattern. This is row number eight, and you should have the front side facing. And we're going to chain two. This does not count as a double crochet in the stitch count. Okay, now we're going to double crochet in the first stitch. We're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and we're going to work a treble crochet in that next stitch, like this. Now working, working behind this stitch that we just worked, we're going to work double crochets in each of the three stitches that we just skipped. Oops. Just like that, we're going to work this all the way across. Okay, we're going to skip three, one, two, three, treble crochet in the next stitch, working behind this stitch, we're going to double crochet in each of the three skip stitches. I'll do that for you one more time. We're going to do this all the way across the row. Skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, treble crochet in that next stitch. Working behind this stitch, we're going to double crochet in the three stitches that we just skipped. Okay, so go ahead and work that stitch all the way across. Okay, I've worked this arrow stitch across all the way to the last stitch and go ahead and work a double crochet in that last stitch. Okay, now we're going to turn, we're going to chain two, and we're going to double crochet in that first stitch. Okay, now we're going to skip the next three stitches and we're going to treble crochet in that top of that next stitch, which is also a treble crochet if we Look at it the other side. It is that same stitch that the treble crochet. That the, it is the treble crochet. And then we're going to work in front of this treble crochet we just made since we have the back side facing, and we're going to double crochet in each of those stitches. Okay, those are the three double crochets. Okay, and we're going to do that all the way across. Skip the next three stitches, treble crochet in that next stitch, which is also a treble crochet, working in front of the treble crochet, double crochet in each of those skipped stitches. I'm going to do this one more time. Skip the next three stitches treble crochet in the next stitch, working in front of that treble crochet, double crochet in those three skipped stitches. Now this is with the back side facing, with the front side facing, you should look, it should look like this with the arrows, making an arrow as you go. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. After going all the way across, double crochet in that last stitch, and then we're going to turn. Now we're at row 10. We're going to chain one, and this is going to be a single crochet row. We're going to be adding stitches to this row. So we're going to single crochet in the next 10 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four. five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After we do those ten stitches, we're going to work two in the next stitch. So one, two for our increase row. I'm sorry, increase um, right there. And then we're going to do this three more times. We're going to do this a total of four times from the beginning of the row. 
We'll work 10 stitches and then work an increase. So go ahead and do that. After that, we come to the last 10 stitches. So go ahead and just work single crochets in those last 10 stitches. Okay, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The pattern does say work uh, single crochets in the last nine stitches and then in the turning chain. That's incorrect. It's just, it's the same number of stitches either way, but it's the last 10 stitches. That's all you needed to do there. Okay, so now we're going to turn, chain one, and for row number 11, we're going to single crochet in the first five single crochets. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. And then after that, it says two single crochet in the next single crochet. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, and then we're going to do um, single crochet in the next 15 single crochet and we're going to repeat this three times so single crochet in the next 15 okay so i'll show you the first repeat we single crochet two single crochets in this stitch and then one in the next 15 and then we're going to do that three times we've already completed one repeat so we do this two more times two single crochets in the next stitch and then one in the next 15 stitches. So go ahead and do that two more times. After that third repeat, then just single crochet in the last five stitches. Okay, and that ends row number 11. Let's take a look. This is with the back side facing and the front side facing. I just love the way these colors are coming out. Now to start row 12, this is going to be another um, repeat of the low front ridge, but we're going to do it a little differently once we get to the next row. But for row 12, it's going to be a repeat of row 2, which is chain 1. And then we're just working in the front loop only. Work a slip stitch in each stitch all the way across the row. Okay, so go ahead and complete that. Go ahead and complete that row. Okay, now I'm going to turn. I'm going to chain one, and we're going to be working in the the remaining loop. And the repeat for this is to single crochet in the first twelve stitches. So if you can see that remaining loop there, it actually does help to have the color changing yarn so that you can see the loop that I'm going for. Okay, so let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we're going to work two single crochets in the next stitch. So go ahead and do that three times, 12 single crochets, and then two in the next stitch. Okay, I said three repeats. I should have said four repeats of the uh, single crochet and 12 stitches, and then two single crochets in the next. That'll bring you to the last nine stitches, and you just si simply uh, crochet a single crochet in each of those remaining nine loops. That's seven, eight, and nine. And let's go ahead and turn. And so the next thing we're going to do is another one of the cable patterns. So the directions say to repeat rows four and five, and we should have 21 cables. So let's go ahead and begin this repeat of row four, single crochet in the first stitch, chain three, 
skip two single crochets and single crochet in that next stitch, turn, and we single crochet one single crochet in each of those three chains, and then a slip stitch in that first single crochet, and then we turn, and we work in those two stitches that we skipped, one single crochet in each stitch. I'll do that for you one more time. Chain three, then we're going to skip two stitches, single crochet and that next stitch. And we're going to turn to work in the chain that we just made, single crochet in each of those chains, one, two, three, slip stitch in that next stitch, and then we turn again, and working in those two stitches that we skipped, single crochet in each of those stitches. So go ahead and work that cable stitch all the way across the row. At the end of this, you should have 21 cables. So this is worked all the way across, and then single crochet in that last stitch, and I have 21 cables, just as the pattern says. Now we're going to work the next row. This is row 15, which is a repeat of row 5. Um, there isn't going to be any variation here. We're going to work it just the way we did the last time. We're going to single crochet in that first stitch, and then as we work behind each cable, we're going to work two single crochets, and then one single crochet and behind the next one two single crochets, and then one single crochet. So the stitch count is not changing on this row. Okay, so single cro two single crochets, and then one. So go ahead and work that all the way across behind your cables. Okay, so we work that all the way across, and go ahead and work the last stitch. It looks like it's in that turning chain, right there, or is actually in part of the, that single crochet. Go ahead and chain one, turn. Now we are going to be working the low front ridge again, and we just work that, remember, in that front loop only. So go ahead and slip stitch in each stitch, just working through the front loop all the way across the row. Okay, after row 16, turn, chain one, and then now we're working in the remaining loop, just single crochet in each stitch, working in that remaining loop all the way across the row. Okay. After rows 1 through 17, this is what you should have. Now if this is your second time through the video, for the second uh, collar panel that you need to make, um, you do not have to do the buttonhole uh, section that I'm going to do right now. But if this is your first time through, we're going to go ahead and we are going to turn and we're going to work with the wrong side facing along the edge right here. And this is for the buttonhole section that we're going to add to it. Okay, we're going to chain one and we're going to work 17 single crochets evenly across this edge. Now this may take a couple of tries, um, and it's okay if it does, but just go ahead and try to work 17 stitches evenly in the row ends. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll come back and, and show you what I have. Okay, after working these 17 stitches as evenly as I can, it really wasn't um, too difficult, and one thing you could do is since this is the center, which is the center of the arrows, um, I worked approximately half of my stitches. Um, I worked, I believe, eight stitches here to this point, and then the other nine stitches from the center onward. So that's one way, one strategy to get these stitches in there nice and evenly. Okay, after we do that, that was row one of the buttonhole plackets. Now we're going to turn, we're going to chain one. And we're going to single crochet in the first two stitches, our first two single crochets. Okay, and this is where the buttonholes come in. We're going to chain two, 
skip two and then we're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And after we do that, we're going to do the chain two, skip two, and then single crochet in the last two stitches. Okay, now for row three, I'm going to I went ahead and chained one, turn, chain one, and we're going to single crochet in the first two single crochets. Okay, and here's, here's the buttonhole. We're going to just work two single crochets right in that chain two space, just like that. And then we're going to single crochet in those nine stitches. And then that brings us to the next buttonhole. We'll go ahead and two single crochets in there, and then single crochet in the last two stitches. Okay, after that, it says to fasten off. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a chain, give it a tug, and give it a nice long strand so that it'd be easy to hide once we get to the finishing rounds. And so we have our two buttonholes on this side. Now we need to also make that match the other side as well. So we're going to join with the slip stitch to the first round. Make sure you leave yourself oops, plenty of plenty of um, yarn here by which to hide. And so once we do that, we are going to single crochet 17 stitches evenly, just like we did before, and just go ahead and repeat these three rows where you work 17 stitches and then you work the two rows for the button. So you can rewind and look at that again so that you can finish this other side. Okay, so I just finished the other side as well with the buttonholes. So this is going to be the front part of the collar. Now, at this point, we are halfway through the collar. So what you need to do now is go back to the beginning of the video or to the beginning of the pattern or both. And we need to rework, do another panel, doing rows 1 through 17 only. Through the second panel that you're going to make, do not add this part, but just stop at row 17. Because what's going to happen is this is the part where the buttonholes are, and that's going to attach to the part that just has the buttons and the buttons will just simply attach to the other side of the collar. Okay, so this is going to end video number one for the Dubonnet Poncho. Um, in the next video that's to come out soon, we are going to learn how to connect the poncho, add the buttons, and then we're going to work on the body of the poncho itself. And that's where it gets really fun and I, I believe really fast moving. And when we get to that section, we're going to need our larger crochet hook. So make sure you get that one ready. Okay, we'll see you in the next video, everybody. And if you get a chance, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that next video coming to you. God bless. Bye-bye.